generating flows in SketchUp is a nightmare. To make this process easier, we created Custom Ground Wizard. It's a free tool that has an ambition to become the next flow generator. In short, Custom Grand Wizard allows you to create a floor of a specified size, pattern and orientation. We tested it in many scenarios and even in the beta version it already gives surprisingly good results. So we make it available for tests for free, aware of its limitation but also its potential. The installation is the same as with other plugins. Just download the RBZ file, open Extension Manager in SketchUp and install it. After installation, it will automatically appear in the menu and on the toolbar as a floor icon with a wand, which can easily be placed among favorite extensions. There are no special requirements, although we recommend the newer version of SketchUp. Right after launching the extension, you can use the default settings as they are enough to generate a simple floor. So, how do you use it? When we click on the icon, we will see the main window of Custom Grunt Wizard, which consists of several sections. First, the size, tile length and tile width specify the dimensions of a single tile in millimeters. The tile height and gap size are also specified in millimeters. Set 600 by 600 if you want to create a tile 60 by 60 or 1200 by 80 if you want to create a parquet board, 1 meter 20 by 8 centimeters. In the pattern section, we choose how the tiles should be arranged on the surface. We can select an even grid, then all the tiles will be aligned in rows and columns or a brick bond. Each odd row is offset by half the length of a tile, just like in a classic brick wall. Add randomness introduces unpredictable row shifts while maintaining the logic from the size section, allowing for an effect similar to natural flooring, for example. In the bevel section, we can specify the size of beveling in millimeters, which allows us to chamfer the edges of the tiles to give them a more realistic appearance. Be careful that this value is not greater than the height of the tile. In fact, the extension has been designed to warn you about this in advance. Bevel is extremely useful, especially for visualization, because the tiles do not look perfectly sharp, but are rather close to reality. In the orientation section, we define the rotation of the tiles. The grid rotation angle expressed in degrees allows you to rotate the tile arrangement by a specified value, such as 45 degrees, and the Align to Edge option automatically detects one of the edges of the selected plane and arranges the tiles along it. This is a great solution when we do not know the exact angle of rotation. The texturing section was the most demanding to code. When you choose no alignment, nothing will change, but the following functions greatly impact the overall texturing. Just make sure the material is applied to the chosen surface. Long edge texturing arranges the texture on individual tiles along the U-axis and short edge texturing arranges it along the V-axis so they are rotated 90 degrees relative to each other. This way you will arrange the wood texture along a single board creating a sense of continuity of the grain or crosswise across the tile. The random texture alignment has two modes. Random, with a 90 degree rotation, it allows the texture to be randomly distributed on each tile, but maintaining that degree of rotation so we will have tiles that are rotated by 90, 180 and 270 degrees. However, a true random distribution will not take care of these rotations and will work great with stone or marble. The extension is not limited to horizontal planes. You can uh, generate on walls or roofs in a similar way. Just mark the appropriate plane. In most cases, the tool will handle tile layout and texture perfectly. Custom Grand Wizard performs well on large surfaces. It even has a warning mechanism after 10 seconds to prevent SketchUp from freezing. You can easily undo the generated effects by choosing Ctrl Z and it will not mess up the program at all. But there are two significant limitations. The inability to precisely indicate the start of the generation. This means you'll need to put in some effort to rotate the grid in a way that the generation starts exactly where you want it to. In the case of an uneven grid, it will be more difficult and sometimes even impossible. The second is the lack of support for concave shapes. That is, shapes in which at least one inner angle is a concave angle. 
so greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. Attempting to generate tiles on such a surface will result in an error. However, this can be circumvented by dividing the surface into smaller convex segments. But it requires extra work. We want to fix both of those limitations in the future. It's only the first beta version completely free, so we are hoping for your feedback and ideas. I encourage you to download, test and share your impressions and I wish you a pleasant use of Custom Ground Wizard.